Famous Football Teams of Vietnam Vietnam is a country with a strong passion for football, and over the years, several teams have emerged as household names in the sport. These teams have had a significant impact on Vietnamese football, both domestically and internationally. In this article, we will take a closer look at some of the most famous football teams in Vietnam. Hanoi FC Hanoi FC is one of the most successful football clubs in Vietnam, having won the V.League One five times in their history. The club was established in 2006 and has since become a dominant force in Vietnamese football. Hanoi FC has a strong youth development program and has produced many talented players, including Win Quang Hai, who is widely regarded as one of the best players in the country. The club has also had some success in international competitions, reaching the quarterfinals of the F Cup in 2019. Hanoi FC is known for its attacking style of play and has a large and passionate fan base. Huang An Gia Lai Huang An Gia Lai is another well-known football club in Vietnam, with a strong focus on youth development. The club was established in 1993 and has since produced many talented players, including Win Kong Fuing and Luang Xuan Trong. Huang An Gia Lai has won the V.League one twice in their history and has also had some success in international competitions, reaching the semi-finals of the F Cup in 2009. The club is known for its attacking style of play and has a loyal fan base. Became Xbin Duong Became Xbin Duong is a football club based in the southern province of Binduang. The club was established in 1997 and has won the V.League one four times in their history. Became Xbin Duong has also had some success in international competitions, reaching the semifinals of the F Cup in 2015. The club has a strong youth development program and has produced many talented players, including Le Cong Vin, who is considered one of the greatest Vietnamese football players of all time. Became Xbin Duong is known for its disciplined style of play and has a large and passionate fan base. Song Lam Hen Song Lam Hen is a football club based in the central province of Nan. The club was established in 1991 and has won the V.League one twice in their history. Song Lam Hen has a strong youth development program and has produced many talented players, including Win Van Quet, who currently plays for Hanoi FC in the national team. The club has also had some success in international competitions, reaching the quarterfinals of the F Cup in 2014. Song Lam Hen is known for its attacking style of play and has a dedicated fan base. SHB Da Nang SHB Da Nang is a football club based in the central city of Da Nang. The club was established in 1975 and has won the V.League one once in their history. SHB Da Nang has a strong youth development program and has produced many talented players, including Win Min Fuing, who is considered one of the best midfielders in the country. The club has also had some success in international competitions, reaching the quarterfinals of the F Cup in 2012. SHB Da Nang is known for its disciplined style of play and has a loyal fan base. Vietnam has a rich football culture, and many other teams have also made a name for themselves in the sport. Here are five more notable football teams in Vietnam. Quang Ninh Col FC Quang Ninh Col FC is a football club based in the northern province of Quang Ninh. The club was established in 2006 and has since become a strong force in Vietnamese football. 
Kuang Nin Kol FC has won the V. League 2 three times in their history and was promoted to the V. League 1 in 2016. The club is known for its disciplined style of play and has a strong defense. Kuang Nin Kol FC also has a large and passionate fan base, with many supporters coming from the province's coal mining industry. Saigon FC Saigon FC is a football club based in Ho Chi Minh City. The club was established in 2011 and has since become a popular team in Vietnamese football. Saigon FC has a strong youth development program and has produced many talented players, including Win Tonon, who currently plays for the national team. The club is known for its attacking style of play and has a loyal fan base. Saigon FC has not yet won a major trophy, but the team's performances have been improving in recent years. Then Quang Ninh FC Then Quang Ninh FC is another football club based in Quang Ninh Province. The club was established in 2007 and has since become a strong contender in Vietnamese football. Then Quang Ninh FC has won the V. League 2 twice in their history and was promoted to the V. League 1 in 2017. The club is known for its attacking style of play and has a strong offense. Then Quang Ninh FC also has a passionate fan base, with many supporters coming from the province's tourism industry. SHB Hue FC SHB Hue FC is a football club based in the central city of Hue. The club was established in 2005 and has since become a popular team in Vietnamese football. SHB Hue FC has a strong youth development program and has produced many talented players, including Win Van Toen, who currently plays for Hoggle FC in the national team. The club is known for its disciplined style of play and has a strong defense. SHB Hue FC has not yet won a major trophy, but the team's performances have been improving in recent years. Dong Tam Long and FC Dong Tam Long and FC is a football club based in the southern province of Long An. The club was established in 1994 and has since become a well-known team in Vietnamese football. Dong Tam Long and FC has won the V. League One once in their history and has also had some success in international competitions, reaching the quarterfinals of the F Champions League in 2003. The club is known for its attacking style of play and has a passionate fan base. Dong Tam Long and FC has faced financial difficulties in recent years, but the team's loyal supporters remain committed to the club. In conclusion, these five football clubs are among the most notable teams in Vietnamese football. They have all had a significant impact on the sport and have produced many talented players over the years. As Vietnamese football continues to grow, we can expect to see even more impressive performances from these clubs and others in the future. Vietnamese football has continued to grow in popularity in recent years, and several other teams have emerged as notable entities in the sport. Here are five more teams that have made a name for themselves in Vietnamese football. Haiphong FC Haiphong FC is a football club based in the northern city of Haiphong. Football culture in Vietnam Football culture has been deeply ingrained in Vietnam for many decades. The sport has become an integral part of Vietnamese life, with millions of people following local and international tournaments with great enthusiasm. Football has also contributed to the development of a unique football culture in Vietnam, with its own set of traditions, customs and practices. Passionate fans 
Vietnamese football fans are known for their passion and dedication to their teams. They are often seen wearing team colors and waving flags and banners to show their support. Football matches in Vietnam are always lively and energetic, with fans singing and chanting throughout the game. The passion for football in Vietnam has also led to the creation of many fan clubs, which are often organized by region or by team. These fan clubs organize events and activities, such as watch parties and charity events, to support their teams and to strengthen the community of football fans in Vietnam. Iconic Stadiums Vietnam has a number of iconic football stadiums that are integral to the country's football culture. The Mai Din National Stadium in Hanoi, for example, is a state-of-the-art facility that has hosted many important international football matches. The Chan Trong Stadium in Nam Din is another notable stadium that has played a significant role in Vietnamese football history. These stadiums have become important landmarks in their respective cities and are often visited by tourists who are interested in experiencing Vietnam's football culture firsthand. Youth Development Football has played a crucial role in the development of Vietnamese youth. Many young Vietnamese boys and girls begin playing football at an early age and continue to do so throughout their childhood and teenage years. This has led to the development of a strong youth football culture in Vietnam, with many youth leagues and tournaments organized throughout the country. The Vietnamese government has also recognized the importance of youth football development and has invested in programs to support it. The Vietnam Football Federation, VFF, has established a youth development academy, which provides training and resources to young football players across the country. Football Legends Vietnam has produced many football legends who have contributed to the development of Vietnamese football culture. Le Cong Vinh, for example, is considered one of the greatest Vietnamese football players of all time. He has represented the national team in many international competitions and has won numerous awards throughout his career. Other notable Vietnamese football legends include Win Hong Sun, Win Hu Thang, and Win Van Sai. These players have inspired generations of young Vietnamese football players and have contributed to the development of a strong football culture in Vietnam. International Success Vietnam has also had some notable success in international football competitions. The Vietnamese national football team, for example, has qualified for the UFC Asian Cup several times and has also competed in the Southeast Asian Games. Vietnamese clubs have also had success in international competitions, with Hanoi FC reaching the quarterfinals of the UFC Cup in 2019. These international successes have helped to raise the profile of Vietnamese football and have contributed to the development of a strong football culture in the country. In conclusion, football culture in Vietnam is a vibrant and important part of Vietnamese life. Its passionate fans, iconic stadiums, youth development programs, football legends, and international successes have all contributed to the development of a unique and dynamic football culture. In Vietnam As Vietnamese football continues to grow and evolve, we can expect to see even more impressive performances and a stronger football culture in the future. Football culture in Vietnam extends beyond the sport itself and has become a part of the country's social fabric. Here are five more aspects of football culture in Vietnam. Street football Street football is a popular form of football in Vietnam, especially among young people. It is played on makeshift pitches on the streets and in alleys, with players using anything from plastic bottles to shoes as makeshift goalposts. Street football is often played in a fast-paced and improvisational style, with players relying on their skills and creativity to outmaneuver their opponents. Street football has become an important part of Vietnamese football culture, 
with many young players honing their skills on the streets before they move on to more formal training programs. Football Merchandise Football merchandise has become increasingly popular in Vietnam, with many fans purchasing team jerseys, scarves, hats, and other accessories to show. Their support for their favorite teams The sale of football merchandise has become a lucrative business in Vietnam, with many vendors selling official and unofficial merchandise at markets and online. Football Media Football media has become an important part of Vietnamese football culture, with many fans tuning in to watch matches on TV or online. Vietnamese sports channels often provide live coverage of local and international matches, along with analysis and commentary from experts and former players. In addition, there are many football blogs, websites, and social media accounts dedicated to covering Vietnamese football. These outlets provide fans with news, analysis, and opinion pieces, and have helped to shape the conversation around football in Vietnam. Football festivals Football festivals are a common occurrence in Vietnam, with many cities and towns organizing events to celebrate the sport. These festivals often feature food, music, and other entertainment, along with football-related activities such as tournaments, coaching clinics, and meet and greets with football stars and legends. Football festivals are an important way to bring communities together and to celebrate the sport that has become such an integral part of Vietnamese culture. Football education Football education has become an important part of Vietnamese football culture, with many schools and universities offering football programs and training for students. The Vietnamese government has also recognized the importance of football education and has invested in programs to support it. These programs provide young people with access to quality coaching and equipment and help to develop the next generation of Vietnamese football players and fans. Vietnamese football culture is also reflected in the relationships between football and other aspects of Vietnamese society. Here are five more examples. Politics. Football has played a role in Vietnamese politics, with politicians using the sport to connect with constituents and promote their agendas. For example, former President Trong Tan Sang was a football enthusiast and often attended matches to show his support for the national team. In addition, the Vietnamese government has used football as a tool for diplomacy, with the national team participating in international events as a means of promoting Vietnam's image and building relationships with other countries. Business Football has become big business in Vietnam, with many companies investing in the sport as sponsors or team owners. For example, the military telecommunications company Vietl owns its own football club, which has become a dominant force in Vietnamese football. In addition, football clubs themselves have become businesses, with many clubs generating revenue through ticket sales, merchandise, and sponsorship deals. Music Football has inspired a vibrant music culture in Vietnam, with many songs and anthems dedicated to the sport. These songs are often played at football matches and have become an important part of the match day experience for fans. In addition, football has also played a role in the development of Vietnamese hip hop, with many rappers incorporating football themes into their lyrics and music videos. Football derbies are a unique and exciting aspect of the beautiful game. These matches are eagerly anticipated by fans all around the world, as they pit bitter rivals against each other in a battle for local pride and bragging rights. Derbies are steeped in history and tradition, with many of them dating back decades, and even centuries. In this passage, we will explore the significance of football derbies and some of the most famous ones from around the world. 
The term derby is said to have originated in the 19th century, when a group of British footballers from Derby County played against a team from Nottingham. The match was so intense and competitive that it became known as the Derbyshire Cup, which was later shortened to just Derby. Today, the term is used to describe any match between two local rivals, regardless of their location or level of competition. One of the most famous football derbies in the world is the Old Firm Derby between Celtic and Rangers in Scotland. These two Glasgow-based teams have been bitter rivals for over a century, with religious and political tensions often adding an extra layer of intensity to their matches. The Old Firm Derby is known for its raucous atmosphere and passionate supporters, who often create a hostile environment for the opposing team. This match is so significant that it is estimated that over half of the Scottish population tunes in to watch it on television. In Spain, the El Clásico Derby between Real Madrid and Barcelona is one of the most watched football matches in the world. These two teams are considered to be among the best in the world and have been battling each other for supremacy since the early 20th century. The rivalry between Real Madrid and Barcelona is more than just a football match, it is a reflection of the cultural, political, and economic differences between the two regions. The El Clásico Derby is known for its breathtaking skill and high-scoring matches, with both teams fielding some of the best players in the world. In Italy, the Derby della Madonnina between AC Milan and Inter Milan is one of the most fiercely contested matches in Serie A. These two Milan-based teams have been battling each other since. The early 20th century, with both teams enjoying periods of dominance over the other. The Derby della Madonnina is known for its passion and intensity, with both sets of supporters creating an electric atmosphere inside the San Siro Stadium. The match is so significant that it is often referred to as the mother of all derbies. In England, there are many famous football derbies, but none are more intense than the Manchester Derby between Manchester United and Manchester City. These two teams share a city in a deep-seated rivalry that has been brewing for over a century. The Manchester Derby is known for its passionate supporters and dramatic moments, with both teams battling for local bragging rights. In recent years, the rivalry has intensified due to the success of Manchester City, who have emerged as one of the top teams in Europe. Another famous football derby in England is the Merseyside Derby between Liverpool and Everton. These two Liverpool-based teams have been rivals for over a century, with both teams enjoying periods of dominance over the other. The Merseyside Derby is known for its passion and intensity, with both sets of supporters creating a hostile atmosphere inside the stadium. The match is so significant that it has been nicknamed the Friendly Derby, as both teams are based in the same city and share a mutual respect for each other. In Brazil, the derby between Flamengo and Fluminense is one of the most fiercely contested matches in the country. These two Rio de Janeiro-based teams have been battling each other since the early 20th century, with both teams enjoying periods of dominance over the other. The Flamengo vs. Fluminense Derby is known for its passionate and vocal supporters, who create an electric atmosphere inside the Maracanã Stadium. The match is also significant because it pits two of Brazil's most successful football clubs against each other. Both teams have won numerous national and international titles, making the derby a clash of football titans. In Argentina, the Superclásico between Boca Juniors and River Plate is one of the most famous football derbies in the world. 
These two Buenos Aires-based teams have a long and bitter rivalry that dates back over a century. The Superclásico is known for its intense atmosphere, with both sets of supporters creating an electric atmosphere inside the stadium. The match is also significant because it pits two of Argentina's most successful football clubs against each other, with both teams having won numerous domestic and international titles. In Turkey, the Istanbul Derby between Fenerbahce and Galatasaray is one of the most fiercely contested matches in the country. These two Istanbul-based teams have been rivals for over a century, with both teams enjoying periods of dominance over the other. The Istanbul Derby is known for its passionate supporters and heated moments, with both teams battling for local bragging rights. The match is also significant because it pits two of Turkey's most successful football clubs against each other, with both teams having won numerous domestic and international titles. In Germany, the Revier Derby between Borussia Dortmund and Schalke 04 is one of the most famous football derbies in the country. These two war-based teams have a long and bitter rivalry that dates back over a century. The Revere Derby is known for its passionate supporters and intense atmosphere, with both sets of fans creating a hostile environment for the opposing team. The match is also significant because it pits two of Germany's most successful football clubs against each other, with both teams having won numerous domestic and international titles. In France, the Derby de France between Paris Saint-Germain and Marseille is one of the most fiercely contested matches in Ligue 1. These two teams have a long and bitter rivalry that dates back to the 1970s. The Derby de France is known for its passionate supporters and heated moments, with both teams battling for local bragging rights. The match is also significant because it pits two of France's most successful football clubs against each other, with both teams having won numerous domestic and international titles. In conclusion, football derbies are an integral part of the beautiful game. These matches are fiercely contested and steeped in tradition, with many of them dating back decades or even centuries. Football derbies are not just about winning or losing, they are about local pride, bragging rights, and a deep-seated rivalry between two teams. The passion and intensity of these matches make them some of the most exciting and memorable moments in football history. Whether it's the Old Firm Derby in Scotland, the El Clasico in Spain, or the Manchester Derby in England, Football derbies continue to capture the hearts and imaginations of football fans all around. The World While football derbies are often marked by the passion and rivalry between two teams, they can also serve as a unifying force for communities. In some cases, the derby may bring together fans who would otherwise be divided by factors such as religion, ethnicity, or political affiliation. For instance, in the Middle East, the Cairo Derby between Al Ali and Ezem Alec is known to bring together fans from both teams who may otherwise have little in common. The match serves as a way for fans to come together and show their support for their team, regardless of any other differences. Similarly, in Northern Ireland, the Old Firm Derby between Celtic and Rangers has historically been marked by sectarian tensions between Catholic and Protestant supporters. However, in recent years, efforts have been made to reduce these tensions and promote unity. The Importance of Goalkeepers in Football Football is a team sport that requires a collective effort to achieve success. 
every player on the field plays an important role in contributing to the overall performance of the team. However, among all the players, the goalkeeper is arguably the most critical position on the field. The importance of goalkeepers in football cannot be overstated, as they are the last line of defense and can be the difference between victory and defeat. First and foremost, goalkeepers are responsible for preventing goals. While this may seem like an obvious statement, it is crucial to understand the magnitude of their role in doing so. In a game where a single goal can determine the outcome, a goalkeeper's ability to make saves is of utmost importance. They must have quick reflexes, excellent hand-eye coordination, and the ability to read the game to anticipate shots. These skills are honed through years of training and experience, and even the slightest mistake can lead to a goal conceded. As such, goalkeepers are required to be mentally strong and resilient, able to shake off a mistake and focus on the task at hand. In addition to shot stopping, goalkeepers also play a significant role in organizing and directing their defense. They are the only players on the field who can see the entire pitch, and as such, they have a unique perspective on the game. This allows them to communicate with their defenders, directing them to mark opposition players, close down space, and make tackles. A good goalkeeper can read the game and anticipate potential threats, providing early warnings to their teammates and preventing dangerous situations from arising. Moreover, goalkeepers are also involved in the offensive aspect of the game. They are responsible for initiating counterattacks and playing accurate long balls to start an attack from the back. This ability to distribute the ball accurately and efficiently can be a game changer, as it allows teams to quickly transition from defense to attack and catch their opponents off guard. In recent years, there has been a trend towards goalkeepers who are comfortable with the ball at their feet, capable of playing as an extra outfield player and contributing to their teams. Possession Game Another crucial aspect of a goalkeeper's role is their ability to inspire and lead their team. They are often the captain of their side, responsible for motivating and encouraging their teammates both on and off the pitch. This requires excellent communication skills, the ability to remain calm under pressure, and a positive attitude. A good goalkeeper is respected by their teammates and leads by example, setting the standard for the team's performance. Moreover, a goalkeeper's presence can have a significant impact on the opposition. A dominant goalkeeper who commands their area and makes crucial saves can intimidate opposing players, making them hesitant to take shots or forcing them to take low percentage shots from distance. This psychological advantage can play a significant role in determining the outcome of a game, as it can disrupt the opposition's rhythm and give the goalkeeper's team an edge. Furthermore, the importance of goalkeepers is reflected in the transfer market. The best goalkeepers in the world are highly sought after and command high transfer fees. This is because they are a rare breed, possessing a unique set of skills that are difficult to replicate. As such, they are often the most valuable players on their teams, and their performance can have a direct impact on the team's success. Finally, the importance of goalkeepers is highlighted by the recognition they receive in individual awards. 
While goal scorers and creative players often receive the most attention, goalkeepers have their own set of awards that recognize their contributions. The most prestigious of these is the Yashin Trophy, awarded to the best goalkeeper in the world. The award is named after Lev Yashin, a legendary Soviet goalkeeper who is widely regarded as one of the greatest of all time. Other awards include the Zamora Trophy in Spain, which is awarded to the goalkeeper with the lowest goals to games ratio in La Liga, and the Golden Glove at the FIFA World Cup, awarded to the Tournament's Best Goalkeeper these awards serve as a testament to the importance of goalkeepers in football and the recognition they receive for their contributions to the game. While goalkeepers may not always receive the same level of recognition as their outfield teammates, their importance to the game cannot be understated. They are the backbone of any team, responsible for preventing goals, organizing the defense, initiating attacks, inspiring their teammates, and intimidating the opposition. As such, teams that have a world-class goalkeeper are often able to achieve success at the highest level, while those without one may struggle to compete. One example of the importance of a goalkeeper can be seen in the case of Liverpool Football Club in the 2019-2020 season. Liverpool had a phenomenal season, winning the English Premier League title for the first time in 30 years. While much of the attention was focused on their attacking trio of Mohamed Salah, Sadio Mane, and Roberto Firmino, it was their goalkeeper, Alison Becker, who was a key factor in their success. Alison made crucial saves throughout the season, including a string of incredible performances in the latter stages of the Champions League, which helped Liverpool lift the trophy for the sixth time in their history. His presence in goal provided a sense of security to his teammates and instilled fear in the opposition, which was critical in Liverpool's title-winning campaign. In conclusion, the importance of goalkeepers in football cannot be overstated. They are the last line of defense, responsible for preventing goals, organizing the defense, initiating attacks, inspiring their teammates, and intimidating the opposition. A world-class goalkeeper can be the difference between success and failure and their contributions are often recognized through individual awards. As such, it is crucial for teams to invest in quality goalkeepers and develop them through proper training and experience. The role of a goalkeeper in football is a unique and critical one, and the best ones are revered for their contributions to the game. Apart from their on-field contributions, Goalkeepers also play a crucial role in the team's morale and mental strength. They are often considered the team's leader, with the ability to inspire their teammates and provide a sense of calmness in high-pressure situations. Their ability to communicate effectively with the defense and guide them through the game is essential, as it helps to maintain a cohesive unit that works towards a common goal. Goalkeepers are also responsible for initiating attacks and setting up counterattacks. They are usually the first line of offense and have the ability to launch long passes that can bypass the opposition's midfield and put their team on the front foot. This is particularly effective in high-pressure games, where the opposition is pressing high up the field, and the goalkeeper's distribution can relieve pressure and create space for their teammates. To exploit. Moreover, goalkeepers are also involved in the game set pieces, particularly in defending free kicks and corners.
In modern football, tactics play a crucial role in determining the outcome of matches. With advancements in technology and the increasing importance of data analytics, coaches and teams are constantly looking for new ways to gain an edge over their opponents. In this passage, we will explore some of the most popular modern football tactics and how they are used in today's game. One of the most common tactics used in modern football is the high press. This involves the entire team pressing aggressively and high up the pitch to win the ball back from the opposition. The idea is to put pressure on the opposition's defenders and midfielders, forcing them into making mistakes and giving away possession. This tactic can be particularly effective against teams that like to play out from the back, as it disrupts their rhythm and can lead to turnovers in dangerous areas of the pitch. Another popular tactic is the counter press. This involves immediately pressing the opposition after losing possession, in order to win the ball back quickly and prevent them from launching a counter attack. The counter press is often used in conjunction with the high press, with teams looking to win the ball back as quickly as possible and then launch a quick counter attack of their own. The use of data analytics has also become increasingly important in modern football tactics. Teams are now able to collect vast amounts of data on their own players as well as their opponents, allowing them to tailor their tactics to exploit weaknesses and maximize their own strengths. This data can be used to determine where players are most effective on the pitch, how they perform under pressure, and what their preferred passing patterns are. Coaches can then use this information to create game plans that are specifically designed to exploit their opponents' weaknesses and neutralize their strengths. One of the most innovative uses of data analytics in modern football is the use of tracking data to monitor player performance. Teams can now use GPS trackers and other monitoring tools to collect data on player movements and performance throughout the game. This data can then be analyzed to determine which players are performing well and which ones are struggling, allowing coaches to make informed substitutions and tactical changes during the game. Another important modern football tactic is the use of formations. Coaches are now experimenting with a wide range of formations, ranging from traditional 4-4-2 and 4-3-3 setups to more experimental 3-5-2 and 4-2-3-1 systems. The choice of formation will often depend on the strengths and weaknesses of the team, as well as the opposition's tactics and style of play. For example, a team may opt for a more defensive formation if they are playing against a team with a strong attacking lineup, while a more attacking formation may be used against weaker opposition. The use of wingbacks is another trend that has emerged in modern football. Wingbacks are players who operate in wide positions, providing both defensive cover and attacking support down the flanks. This tactic is particularly effective when playing against teams that like to attack down the wings, as it allows the wingbacks to provide additional defensive cover while also launching quick. Counterattacks down the flanks The role of the goalkeeper has also changed significantly in modern football tactics. Goalkeepers are now expected to be more than just shot stoppers, with many coaches emphasizing the importance of their distribution and ability to play out from the back. This has led to the development of a new type of goalkeeper, known as the sweeper keeper. 
Sweeper keepers are highly mobile and are comfortable playing the ball with their feet, allowing them to act as an additional outfield player and launch quick counterattacks from deep. The use of pressing traps is another tactic that has become increasingly popular in modern football. Pressing traps involves setting up a defensive trap to win the ball back in a specific area of the pitch. This can be done by forcing the opposition into a particular area of the pitch and then pressing them aggressively to win the ball back. Once the ball is won, the team can then launch a quick counterattack, taking advantage of the opposition's disorganization and the space left behind. The use of overlapping fullbacks is another modern football tactic that has become increasingly popular. Overlapping fullbacks involve the fullbacks pushing forward to overlap the wingers and provide additional attacking support. This creates a numerical advantage on the flanks and can cause the opposition's defense to become stretched, creating gaps in the middle of the pitch that can be exploited. The use of false nines is another tactic that has become popular in modern football. A false nine is a player who operates as a center forward but drops deep to create space for other attacking players to run into. This can cause confusion for the opposition's defense, as they are unsure whether to mark the false nine or leave them unmarked and risk leaving space for other attackers to exploit. Another important modern football tactic is the use of zonal marking. Zonal marking involves defenders marking areas of the pitch rather than individual players. This allows defenders to focus on defending space rather than chasing individual players around the pitch, making it more difficult for the opposition to create scoring opportunities. The use of set-piece routines is another tactic that has become increasingly important in modern football. Teams are now spending more time on the training ground working on set-piece routines, with the aim of creating scoring opportunities from corners, free kicks, and throw-ins. These routines can involve complex movements and decoy runs, designed to confuse the opposition's defense and create space for attacking players to score. In conclusion, Modern football tactics have evolved significantly in recent years, with coaches and teams using a wide range of innovative strategies to gain an advantage over their opponents. The use of data analytics, tracking data, and new technologies has allowed teams to collect and analyze vast amounts of data, enabling them to tailor their tactics to exploit weaknesses and Maximize their strengths. From high pressing and counter pressing to the use of formations, overlapping fullbacks, and false nines, modern football tactics are constantly evolving and adapting to new challenges. With the continued development of new technologies and analytical tools, it is clear that tactics will continue to play a crucial role in determining the outcome of matches in the years to come. One modern football tactic that has been gaining popularity in recent years is the use of inverted wingers. Inverted wingers are players who play on the opposite side of their dominant foot, cutting inside to create scoring opportunities for themselves or their teammates. This tactic has been popularized by teams such as Liverpool and Manchester City, who use inverted wingers to overload the opposition's defense in central areas of the pitch. Another tactic that has become increasingly popular in modern football is the use of a high defensive line. 
A high defensive line involves the defenders pushing up the pitch to compress the space in which the opposition can play. This can be a risky strategy, as it leaves space behind the defenders that can be exploited by fast attackers. However, it can also be effective in preventing the opposition from building attacks and forcing them into making mistakes. The use of pressing traps is another tactic that has been used with great success in modern football. Pressing traps involve the team setting a trap to win the ball back in a specific area of the pitch. This can be achieved by luring the opposition into a false sense of security before pressing them aggressively and winning the ball back. Team Spirit in Football Team Spirit is an essential ingredient in football. It is the glue that holds a team together and makes it more than just a collection of individual players. In football, team spirit is the intangible force that can make the difference between winning and losing. Football is a game that requires a high level of teamwork. Eleven players must work together to achieve a common goal. Each player has a specific role to play, and their individual efforts must be coordinated with those of their teammates. A team that lacks unity will struggle to succeed on the pitch, no matter how talented its players are. Team spirit is the key to creating a cohesive unit that works together towards a common goal. It starts with the players, but it also extends to the coaching staff, the support staff, and the fans. When everyone involved with a football club is committed to working together, the team can achieve great things. There are several factors that contribute to team spirit in football. The first is a sense of shared purpose. Every player on a football team has the same objective, to win games. This shared goal gives the team a common purpose, and it helps to create a sense of unity. Another important factor is mutual respect. Players must respect their teammates' abilities and contributions to the team. This respect fosters a sense of trust, and it helps to create a supportive environment where players feel comfortable sharing their ideas and opinions. Communication is also critical to building team spirit. Players must communicate with each other effectively on the pitch to coordinate their efforts and execute their game plan. Off the pitch, communication helps players to build relationships with each other and to understand each other's perspectives. Leadership is another essential component of team spirit in football. A strong leader can inspire their teammates to perform at their best and to support each other through the highs and lows of a season. A good leader sets the tone for the team, and they help to establish a positive culture that fosters team spirit. Team building activities are also a useful tool for building team spirit. These activities can range from simple bonding exercises to more elaborate team building events. The purpose of these activities is to bring players together and to help them develop a sense of camaraderie. The benefits of team spirit in football are numerous. A team that has a strong sense of unity is more resilient in the face of adversity. When players are committed to working together, they are more likely to bounce back from setbacks and to overcome obstacles. 
Team spirit also fosters a positive team culture. When players support each other and work together, they create a positive environment where everyone feels valued and respected. This positive culture can be infectious, and it can inspire players to perform at their best. A team that has a strong sense of team spirit is also more enjoyable to watch. Football is a game that is meant to be entertaining, and a team that plays with passion and unity can be a joy to watch. Fans are drawn to teams that play with heart and commitment, and a strong team spirit can help to create a loyal and passionate fan base. One of the most famous examples of team spirit in football is the story of Leicester City's 2015-16's Premier League campaign. Leicester City were considered to be relegation candidates before the start of the season, but they defied the odds to win the league title. The key to their success was their team spirit. Leicester City had a group of players who were committed to working together and supporting each other. They had a strong leader in Claudio Ranieri, who created a positive team culture and inspired his players to perform at their best. Leicester City's success was a testament to the power of team spirit in football. In conclusion, team spirit is an essential ingredient in football. It is the intangible force that can make the difference between winning and losing. Another way that team spirit can be demonstrated in football is through the celebration of goals. When a player scores a goal, it is not just an individual accomplishment, but a team effort. A goal celebration that involves the whole team, including substitutes and coaching staff, can help to reinforce the sense of unity and togetherness that is vital for success on the pitch. One of the ways that team spirit can be developed is through team building exercises. These exercises can help to build trust, develop communication skills, and foster a sense of camaraderie among teammates. Examples of team building exercises include group activities, trust exercises, and outdoor adventures. Another important aspect of team spirit is resilience. In football, setbacks are inevitable, and teams that are resilient can bounce back from adversity and continue to perform at a high level. Resilience is built through a strong team culture, effective communication, and a shared commitment to the team's goals. In addition to the benefits for on-field performance, team spirit can also have a positive impact off the pitch. Players who feel connected to their teammates are more likely to enjoy their experience playing football, and this can translate into increased motivation and commitment. A positive team culture can also have a positive impact on mental health, as players feel supported and valued by their teammates. Finally, team spirit is not something that can be developed overnight. It requires time, effort, and commitment from everyone involved with the team. Players, coaching staff, support staff, and fans all have a role to play in building a strong team culture that fosters team spirit. In conclusion, team spirit is a critical component of success in football. It is the intangible force that can make the difference between winning and losing. A strong sense of team spirit is built through shared purpose, mutual respect, effective communication, strong leadership, team building activities, resilience, and a positive team culture. Classic Matches in Football Football, also known as soccer in some parts of the world, is a sport that has been enjoyed by millions of people for centuries. Its popularity has grown so much that it has become a multi-billion dollar industry with millions of fans across the globe. Throughout its history, football has seen some of the most exciting and memorable matches, with players displaying their skills and talents in front of millions of people. In this passage, we will take a look at some of the classic matches in football that will forever be remembered in the annals of sports history. 
The 1953 FA Cup Final, Blackpool vs. Bolton Wanderers The 1953 FA Cup Final between Blackpool and Bolton Wanderers is regarded as one of the greatest matches in the history of English football. Blackpool, who were led by the legendary Stanley Matthews, were up against a strong Bolton Wanderers team. The match was played on a wet and muddy Wembley pitch, but it didn't dampen the spirits of the players and the fans. The match was evenly contested, with both teams creating chances. However, it was Bolton who took the lead through Nat Lofthouse in the 50th minute. Blackpool responded quickly, with Stanley Matthews setting up Stan Mortensen for the equalizer. The match was then turned on its head, as Mortensen scored two more goals to complete his hat trick. Bolton tried to mount a comeback but Blackpool held on to win the match 4-3. The 1960 European Cup Final, Real Madrid vs. Eintracht Frankfurt The 1960 European Cup Final between Real Madrid and Eintracht Frankfurt is widely regarded as one of the greatest matches in the history of football. Real Madrid, who were already established as one of the best teams in the world, were up against a relatively unknown Eintracht Frankfurt team. The match was played at Hampton Park in Glasgow, Scotland, and it was watched by over 130,000 fans. The match was a classic, with both teams playing attacking football. Real Madrid took the lead through a Ferenc Puskas goal in the 18th minute. However, Eintracht Frankfurt responded brilliantly, scoring three goals in quick succession to take a 3-1 lead. Real Madrid didn't give up, and they pulled a goal back through Di Stefano. The match continued to be end-to-end, -end, with both teams creating chances. However, it was Real Madrid who prevailed, winning the match 7-3. The match was remembered for the attacking prowess of both teams, and it set the benchmark for attacking football in Europe. The 1970 World Cup Final, Brazil vs. Italy. The 1970 World Cup final between Brazil and Italy is widely regarded as the greatest match in the history of football. Brazil, led by the legendary Pele, were up against a strong Italian team. The match was played in Mexico City, and it was watched by over 100,000 fans. The match was a classic, with both teams playing attacking football. Brazil took the lead through a spectacular goal by Pele in the 18th minute. However, Italy responded quickly, with Roberto Bonensegna scoring the equalizer. The match continued to be end-to-end, -end, with both teams creating chances. However, it was Brazil who took control of the match, scoring three more goals to win the match 4-1. The match was remembered for the attacking prowess of Brazil, who played some of the most beautiful football ever seen in a World Cup final. The 1982 World Cup semi-final, Brazil vs. Italy The 1982 World Cup semi-final between Brazil and Italy is widely regarded as one of the greatest matches in the history of football. Brazil, who wanting to retain their reputation as the masters of football, were up against a formidable Italian side that had been unbeaten in the tournament so far. 
The match was played at the Estadio Saria in Barcelona, and it was watched by millions of fans around the world. The match was a classic encounter between two great footballing nations. Italy took an early lead through a Paolo Rossi goal in the fifth minute, but Brazil responded quickly with a stunning equalizer from Socrates. The match was a battle of attrition, with both teams exchanging blows and creating chances. However, it was Italy who took the lead once again through Rossi, who scored his second goal of the game in the 25th minute. Brazil refused to give up, and they continued to push forward, playing their trademark attacking football. Their persistence paid off in the 68th minute when Falcao scored a magnificent goal to equalize for Brazil. The match continued to be end-to-end, -end, with both teams creating chances. However, it was Italy who prevailed, with Rossi completing his hat-trick in the 82nd minute to secure a famous victory for Italy. The match was remembered for the attacking prowess of both teams, and it showcased the very best of what football had to offer. It was a classic encounter that will forever be etched in the annals of football in history. The 1999 UEFA Champions League Final, Manchester United vs. Bayern Munich The 1999 UEFA Champions League Final between Manchester United and Bayern Munich is widely regarded as one of the most dramatic matches in football history. Manchester United who had already won the Premier League and the FA Cup that season, were up against a strong Bayern Munich side. The match was played at the Camp Nou Stadium in Barcelona, and it was watched by millions of fans around the world. Bayern Munich took the lead in the sixth minute through a Mario Basler free kick, and they dominated the match for the majority of the game. Manchester United on the other hand, struggled to create clear-cut chances and looked destined for defeat. As the match entered injury time, Bayern Munich were still leading 1-0 and looked set to lift the trophy. However, in a dramatic turnaround, Manchester United scored two goals in injury time to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. Teddy sharing an equalize for United in the 91st minute, and old Gunnar Solskjaer scored the winner in the 93rd minute. The match was remembered for the incredible comeback by Manchester United and the sheer drama of the occasion. It was a classic encounter that will forever be etched in the memories of football fans around the world.